unity in the house. So uh, I was uh, praying this early this morning about today's uh, service. And I asked the Lord this morning, uh, and I want to give a word out. Uh, so I asked the Lord this morning a question. I asked the Lord, what is it that the people need to understand about this event that took place for the last three days? Because it's a, it's a, it's a yield inside. That is, a, a, I would say, like a yearning, a grabbing hold, trying to pull in and say, man, what is it that I really want? I've been fasting and praying and seeking and asking God. I want, I want more than just having regular church service. I don't want to have the same thing that I've been having every time. So what happened was, uh, when I asked that question, the Spirit of the Lord came to me and he gave me a list of numbers. I'm a numbers man. I found out that Pastor Patrick is a numbers man. And so they started calling us nerds. I ain't heard that since high school. So I, I started saying, wow, I got, I got another nerd like me that understands that every letter in the Bible is actually based upon number system. So even the English language and the European language, which we learned, and the um, Egyptian language, where the language system come from, actually started out with numbers. Okay. So I started, um, when the Spirit of the Lord started talking to me, uh, I told the Spirit of the Lord, I said, well, Lord, um, I know how I think. And, and a lot of times when I say something, it sounds like it might be too deep to somebody else. And I get the questions and get the answers from a lot of people say, you're just entirely too deep. And I, and I uh, start pondering when they say that, and then I have to stop and think, um, well, maybe uh, in my mind frame, I might be too deep. But in their mind frame, they might not just be able to calculate the, the correct uh, percentage of the number. And it might be the reason why they're not actually understanding what I'm saying. So I figured that I might as well divide this thing out and get a better understanding of what's taking place. Therefore, when I multiply, you can get an answer. And then we can turn around and subtract some stuff from it. And then you can find out what that the vision is in the midst of everything. And then I just figured, well, Lord, let me step on over to some calculus because maybe there's some calculus mind people in here that understand the numbers all the way completely down into the midst of everything. I hope I and just use y'all and all that number system. So I, I just want to break it down to you and let you know what the Lord said to me today concerning the vision of the house. Okay, uh, uh, so what the Lord said to me today is that he said, do you remember that I told you there will be 12 bishops that will lay hands upon you? I said, yes, Lord, I remember that. He said, do you remember that it was 12 years ago when I told you that? I said, yes, God, I remember that. He said, do you remember that in the 12 years that I sent seven of those, of those 12 bishops to you? I said, yes, God. He said, do you remember that when I ended up putting you on a trip and having you to go to North Carolina and, and go into the midst of the place and have them to lay hands upon you. You remember when I sent you out to Dallas and had Bishop T.D. Jakes to lay hands upon you and Dr. Tony Evans to lay hands upon you and then also Bishop Ricky to come into the midst and speak into your life. I said, yes, God, I remember those people and I remember the stuff that is taking place. He said, well, then what I was building in you was a unity because I got to take you someplace to prepare you for where you're going to go. Oh, and so you got to understand that, right. that there's a lot of things that take place on the inside of a person. See, I'm, I'm a prophet. So as a prophet, we receive stuff that other people don't get a chance to receive. See, see, you, you get it and play around with God. You go in God's presence and say, God, I want to have a, a nice house, a nice car, Lord. Can you bless me with this, Lord? Can you bless me with that? And, and you ask God a lot of stuff, but you don't get to the root of the issue because God starts talking to you about the root of the issue. And when he talks to you about the root of the issue, you get up and say, God, I'm done. I don't need that anymore. But, but God said, no, what I want to give you is some unity in the midst of it. So what you're trying to do is that he said, I'm trying to give you some information that is going to take you to some place and that is going to put you in a place where you'll be prepared to go. So what he did for me is that uh, he spoke to Kia and he told Kia, he said, uh, uh, Kia said, uh, go, go and uh, we need to get a hold of Bishop. 
the Lord said, talk to Bishop. And I said, uh, what Bishop? I said, I got four bishops in my room, so you need to be more specific on what Bishop you're talking about. Yeah. She said, I don't know your friend. I said, all four of them are my friend. So that's the end of answer the question. And so she said, well, well, won't you pray it and, and, and just reach out to him? And I said, well, let me, let me sit here on the couch. So I was sitting on the couch, and I said, Lord, what bishop are you telling Kia to tell me to get a hold of? And the Spirit of the Lord said, well, get, 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 in, get in contact with Bishop Chris, you know, Chris. And I said, oh, oh, him. I said, oh, okay, uh, let me get in touch with Crazy Man, okay? So I, I called him and got a hold of the, the phone and thought I was talking to him, but it was his voice, man. Messed me up with that. But anyway, of course I went So, and when, when I got a hold of him, I ended up contacting him on Facebook. And God knows, even the devil knows, I don't fool with Facebook. But anyway, in the midst of it, we yes. contacted on Facebook. He said we started at 10 o'clock. I said, oh, okay. I turned around to Kia and said, he said he started, they started at 10 o'clock. And she said, well, we need to go. I said, why we need to go? She said, because the Lord said we need to be restored. And then last night, when we got home, and when I when we got to home, she started talking and we and I forgot Marcus was in the car. And I, and uh and it was cold last night and I took the keys with me. So I said, uh oh, oh, we got to talking and she said, Well, baby, I understand some stuff going on. And I said, Oh baby, you gotta understand the Lord did this because he was restoring us yeah. back to where we need to be. Yeah. I said, So everything that is in operation is operation under the restore. Then I looked up the word restore. Oh, let me help you there for a second here. So I looked up the word restore. You know, I don't mess around and come back to the numbers. I had to throw that out there for the sake of throwing it out there. So read the word restore in, in the biblical sense. Let me go Bible for your mother. So the word restore in a biblical sense means completion. When you look at completion in the biblical sense, it's the number seven. So when you look at the number seven, it starts All right. I got to mess it up and then I started looking at some other stuff. And then the Lord turned around and said, I need to show you something else. In the midst of the restore. Now that is restore. The original word of restore. Then the Lord said, take a look at restoration. And said, I started looking at restoration in the midst of it. So in the midst of restoration, the word restoration in the biblical sense, we're going to look Latin and Hebrew with you right here. So in the biblical sense, a restoration, restoration begins to number eight, which is the new beginning. So I started saying, okay, God, I understand what you're doing right now. You're doing a new beginning in the midst of the four days. Then the Lord messed me up with the number four. Oh, God. I said, no, Lord, you're messing me up right now. But here's what the Lord did in the number four. The Lord said, can I know that you understand four is the number of season and truth? I said, yes, Lord. He said, Lord, what I want to do is I want to get you in some understanding right here. I want you to have a better understanding that four not only represents season and truth, but four also represents unity and togetherness. And I started understanding. Oh, wait a minute, God. So, Lord, how am I going to be able to tell them on tomorrow to catch the revelation that is coming forth on today? Because you're, they're not here today, Lord. And I know how you talk to me, Lord, but I don't know how you talk to them. I know when I get in your presence, God, that it ain't about me and you have a conversation, Lord. I know, God, how you do me, but, Lord, I got to break it down so that they can catch the revelation of what you give me. And then the Lord began to say this to me. Well, he said it late last night, Bishop. He woke me up. I said, God, can I get some sleep? Five o'clock in the morning praying. Can I get some sleep, Lord? Lord, you know I'm tired. He said, Ken, I don't want you to sleep. <laughs> That's the problem with the church. Yeah. They're too busy sleeping when I'm trying to talk to them. They're too busy in the midst of things when I'm trying to get them some information. I'm trying to download some stuff to them. I'm trying to set them up and prepare them to walk in some destiny. Walking because they two busy sleeping in the midst of it. So then God started telling me about the numbers. He came back and he said, I want you to understand. I said authority in your life. And the third that I said in your life was had to be positioned around. Watch this. It has to be a position around missions only. It can't be positioned around anyone else. It has to be a position around mission. Well, why does it have to be positioned around bishop? Because bishop sets the authority. And after the bishop, the apostles. And after the apostles, the prophets. After the prophets, the evangelists. After the evangelists, the pastor. After the, the teachers. And so what happens here, when you count it all up, you come into complete understanding that the number of man was already set in time.